The last route that we have in our auth routes area is sign out. So we'll fill out our sign out function in auth controller. Here we'll just need a request and a response. And from the response, we can call clear cookie. We want to clear out the session token that corresponds to our current session. So we'll clear next dash cookie dot SID. And this is the cookie name that we created in our session config object that we pass to express session. Then we'll just call a method that's put on the request by passport called logout to end our session. And we can respond with some JSON, although we don't have to. We usually return a 204 status code, meaning no content from a sign out. But here we can return with a JSON object the message saying, you are now signed out. So if we save and try this out, so remember that this is a get request and the end of the path is sign out. So we won't be sending over any request body. You can see that this tab is now grayed out, meaning that we can't use it. So if we just hit send, we get our JSON object saying that we're now signed out. And finally, for a number of these routes, if we want to make sure that only an authenticated user can perform the given action, for example, in this case, if, if we want to update a user, we first need to make sure that they're authorized, that they're signed in. So on our auth controller, we'll have this check auth function, which will run as middleware with a lot of routes. And to check that a user is signed in or signed up, that they have a saved session, we'll take request, response, and next. We'll say if request dot is authenticated, this is another method that Passport puts on our request object by default, we're going to return next, meaning we do in fact, in the case of this route, this update user route, that we want to move on to the next step, which in this case is uploading the avatar. So if we're authenticated, we're returning next. Otherwise, we're going to redirect with res.redirect to the sign-in page.